Right guys, in this next batch of videos here we're going to see about doing up this pit bike. I got it, it's a Stomp 125. Proper pit bike leg. One of the better versions. But the engine is totally fried. And we've got the carb off, taking this off. And we're about to pull the head off it and find out what's the matter with it see what the damage is uh, the guy that had it said that it just started making a hell of a racket and then it completely failed in power and since then it had no compression I couldn't get it to work there's no spark uh, don't know lots of issues with it it's a complete pile of junk just now and we're going to rebuild the top end so, if you're interested in finding out how to do the top end, I'm just the way to undo the four bolts at the front of the engine, undo the side casing off the side, undo the cam, just the cam cog, the sprocket inside with a little chain on it. I'm going to undo that and then slip the head off, and then we'll see what the cylinder head looks like and see what the damage is. I'll go for now guys. Be back shortly. Hi <laughs> right, guys, well wait till you see this. We have one head bolt completely sheared completely off. The piston where are we? See it? It's all smashed away along here. Although the edge feels a bit sharp, it doesn't feel like it's taken too much out of the edge. But totally fried. There was no gasket on the base gasket. Uh, no gasket in between the barrel and the cylinder head. The cylinder head is chewed up. Where's the barrel? This is the barrel that came off and the barrel looks quite good well certainly no big deep scores oh well, there is but yeah it's been battering about and there's something rotten but yeah we is going to rebuild this top end I'm going to get into the house because it's freezing cold and we'll have a look at the top end and see how the valves and everything's doing but yeah it's missing a side casing on this as well magneto I think stator back brake doesn't work front brake lever is snapped the bike is in pieces oh yeah these bolts just keep spinning and they won't come out. Uh, there's zero engine uh, engine oil inside the motor. Uh, and the shocks, when I push down, the shocks are taking a long time to come back up. So it's, you could generally say the whole bike is rotured. We'll see how we can get it back together. Anyway, let's go have a look at this head and see what the damage is. Back soon. Right guys, well we're going to take a look at the pit bike cylinder head. This is from the 125 Stomp pit bike. And as we check out underneath, now I have sanded this up. This was completely damaged and when I look at it closely, you can see there was a screw rattling about inside this head. It completely destroyed it and it's bent valves and I even have the valves sitting here this was the culprit where are we? I don't know if you can tell but it's got a serious wobble going on you can even see the marks in the shaft where it was rubbing in the valve guide but yeah it went so far it didn't seat properly and it was pretty much stuck but yeah Damaged valve, probably due to there being a screw bouncing about inside. 
so now that we have that damage I've went ahead and sanded it all down careful not to sand the outer edge down but just sanded down the inside I've, I ordered another set of valves and ordered the wrong set because I was just jumping ahead thinking I'll get new ones anyway it turns out it's not even for the right head but in the pack that I got, I got a 23mm one. So it's 20mm and 23mm, but the pack I ordered was 23mm and 27 So the 27 is huge. So the only one I actually ended up using out of the... Well, that I'm going to use is the 23mm. Brand new. So this is going to fit. I've lined them up. So first I'm going to show you how to take apart your head. So this is the side that your timing wheel would be on. And you want to take the top cap off. It's going to be off because this is how you'd get the thing off in the first place. And then around this side you have this one here. Where the bolt hole through this middle part here takes the cap off at the other side and then you've got these two here are either screws or the inlets for your oil cooler. Well, this will come off as well. Now once you take these off I'll show you in a moment how to take apart the other parts. Give me a second. Right guys so just to show you when you're pulling this thing apart a I've got mine apart inside just now, but it's just to show you. Uh, this cap here would come off, and of course you'd see like your tappet valves and stuff are up in here. There's a little side case here that comes off. This is usually where like your oil cooler would attach, or just some bolts just to keep it on. Now you get something thin that you can put up here and pull the little pegs out for the tappets and just slot it in pull it to the side this one comes out a bit easier with a screwdriver let's decide the nut to, because we're recording at the moment of course but yeah you get the idea you just put something in to get a hold of the bushing and drew the oily, which is good. And pull that out, and you'll have these caps on the side, on both sides, they'll undo as well. And now we're inside the actual head, we can pop the entire cam out of the top of it. Now your valves, I'll show you just now. The valves come through on your engine side like this. They come up out of this valve stem seal up here. Now your springs, they're double lined, they've got one inside the other, just a thin one and a bigger one. And they'll slot down over the top of your valve stem. And then you'll have a collet here. Now this collet slides over the top of the spring guide like that. And you have two little half collets. Now these drop inside here perfectly, there's two of them, and they bite into the top of the, there's a groove in the top of the valve, I'll show you that, see up here, the edge of it bites into this when the spring's under full compression, it's under load, now you need a special tool to take these off, but and put them back on, especially put them back on. But I came across a tool that I had in the shed. It's a really old 
metal tube tool that is used for taking spark plugs out of, I think it was a Fiat Punto, it's a 16mm I think. But yeah, it's just a tube, so if you ask me, maybe even bike seat pole, maybe an old set of straight handlebars, but I just placed it over the top of the valve stem, show you, over the top and press down now the valve was coming out at the bottom and pressing down so i just sat two bits of board down left a space in the middle yeah, and just placed it over the top and forced it down jiggled it a couple of times until i heard the collets come loose slipped it off now this engine had mega bent up valve mega bent up so replacement valve was needed now I already got a set of valves, knowing I was going to have to do the engine job and got valves way too big. But the size that I have that replaces the buckled one is okay. But as you can tell by the sheer state of the cylinder head, it's totally destroyed. But I've sanded it down. So it's smooth and I'm actually going to sand down the absolute busted piston that's on the bike just now and I'm going to shove it all back together just to show I can get it all working again while it's totally mauled apart but we will be upgrading we'll be doing a full engine rebuild anyway so we'll get a whole new head and piston and get a whole load of stuff but it's just to show you how to take this off your bike pull it apart in every piece it's not that complicated the bits that are there they can only all go in one way it's, there's nothing to really get lost about but anyway that's been pulling it apart now as soon as I get the bits the bits are coming in the mail and I'll keep updating this I'll run this as for however long it takes or however many videos it's going to take it'll be over a few weeks maybe but we'll rebuild the bike, get it going, get everything working. But yeah, it's just to see if we can get a totally smashed up engine that's of absolutely no use running again. Everybody else would call this engine dead, but I'll bet a million bucks it's going to run again. So, yeah, we've got some gaskets. I already ordered the gasket kit and the full loom kit, which... It's got a new coil, CDI, kill switch, a couple of sets of loom wires, you know, all that stuff, the HT lead. So it all helps, especially if you start from scratch, you want the wiring to be new. Some of the connectors were rusty, the coil just wasn't connecting to the wires, it was totally bust up, so we'll see. But for just now, we're going to have to rebuild the full top end. So as soon as I can get some bits in, what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for one of the big stretch bolts up here and a set of nuts for the top. I don't have any of the screws for the side casing, so I'm going to have to make some out of some M5 bolts, I think. Yeah, I think they're M5. So I'll chop down a few M5 bolts, get them in there, make sure they're not obstructing anything inside. And um, yeah, it should be ready to rebuild again. If it runs, I might even just pull it straight back off and port the life out of it. But yeah, we'll see. It'll work. Anyway, guys, that's it for just now. And I'll update as soon as we're getting a little bit more progress. And thanks for watching. Bye.